Hey guys, Rusty here, and I'm going to be showing you how you can get the Reliquary Restoration Achievement with the Archivist Codex, which is an achievement required for one of the hand mounts, but also, more importantly in my opinion, this will give you 14,000 bonus reputation with the Archivist Codex, so if your goal is to get the mount at rank 6, or if you know you want the conduit upgrade items or the socket upgrade items, this is a good way to do it, collecting all these different relics, essentially, to gain this reputation, and they're all super, super easy to do and they happen at certain breakpoints in the actual reputation. And that's pretty much it. So, with that being said, let's get right into the guide. Now, once you actually unlock the Archivix Codex reputation, you will gain a quest from him that will essentially he'll tell you to go out and find certain relics or artifacts to bring back to him. Now, the first five relics are very simple. You get these all at rank one with that reputation. You just go out in the world and find them and complete a short quest chain for some of them. Now, the Book of Binding the Mad Witch, Book of Binding, Chains of Domination. Guys, there's something crazy going on in Blizzard. Like, someone's excited. So, the Book of Binding, essentially, you're going to want to head over to the cave where a rare spawn does spawn. I'm not even going to try and pronounce that rare spawn's name. Just head over to where I am on the map. And inside the cave on the upper level, there's going to be the Book of Binding, the Mad Witch. Just go ahead, pick it up, and accept that quest. And it's just going to ask you to find 12 pages spread throughout the cave. Just go ahead and keep clicking them, complete the quest, head over back to the dude. You can turn it in for your bonus reputation. The second item is going to be the Celestial Shadowlands chart. This is over near basically the more the southern end of Corthia, not on the actual island. Again, of course, as to every single one of these items, I will of course just head over to where I am on the map, pick up the quest, and that will ask you to pick up six items around the area. Just simply complete that quest and that item is done. Now, a little more to the east is going to be the Singing Steel Ingot, which is located, I think it's actually located right on the anvil. Essentially, just go ahead and pick up the Singing Steel Ingot, and essentially, guys, this will, you're just gonna go around killing a ton of mobs. Just keep killing mobs until you eventually complete the quest, and then, again, just like all the others, you can go ahead and turn it in. Now, there's only two left. We'll talk about the rune shits in a second, but let's do the damage talisman first. This one is super easy. Just go to where I am on the map, and inside this cave, is going to be the damage talisman. This one is very, very easy to do. You just pick it up and you bring it back to him. Now, the one that might be not tricky, but it's, will take a little bit longer. I don't think tricky is the right word. Is going to be the pouch of rune chits. These have a chance to drop from any of the treasures uh, around Corthia. So basically, the invasive mushrooms, the relic caches, the moss worn caches, the the nest, the bones. You've essentially any treasure you would find has a chance to drop this quest item. And what this quest will do, will ask you to collect 20 rune chits. And you get these rune chits basically the same way you collected the item. You're just going to go around looting treasures and you will gain a item. And you want to right click that item and it has a chance to be the correct one for the quest. It might also turn into a gray item. So essentially guys for this one, just keep looting treasures until you eventually complete the quest. That one you could do over time though. It might take a little bit longer, but... There's really nothing too tricky about it. Just loot treasures until you complete the quest. And that'll do it for all the rank 1 relics. Let's move on to the rank 2 relics. So once you reach rank 2 with the Archivix Codex, you will basically unlock the ability to purchase the 4 keys that the vendor sells to you. So just once you hit rank 2 with them, just head over to the vendor, purchase all keys, the keys of flowing water, many thoughts, crystal key, and the inner chambers. Purchase all of them, you will need all of them to actually unlock the chest. So, the first item we're going to find is going to be the Nether Star. Again, as usual, just head over to where I am located on the map. This one was a little tricky when I first went to find it. It's actually hidden right under the cave, or the, the cliff, excuse me, not the cave. Right under the cliff, just go ahead and click the chest as long as you have the correct key. It will open it up, giving you the Nether Star to just go ahead and turn in. After you complete the quest, of course, just interact with the, all the animate fissures, complete the quest. It's a very easy quest to do. The second one is going to be the Gorok Claw Fetish. Again, head over to the cave where I am located on the map, and inside that cave is going to be the Gorak Claw Fetish. Just open it up, make sure you have the correct key, loot it up, and then you, as usual, you would just go back to the Archivix dude and hand it in. The third one is going to be the Guise of the Changeling, just also inside a cave, believe it or not. It's shocking that relics and uh, artifacts are hidden inside caves. Just head over to where I am, loot the chest, and as usual, just bring it back to the Archivist dude and you'll be perfectly fine some of these do give you toys by the way the ring of self-reflection is going to be the final chest item just again this one is actually located on the southern item or southern item southern island of corthia if you're not sure how to get there there's basically a, a flayed wing a mount that you could click in the keeper's respite to fly over to the southern island of corthia once you're there though 
head over to where I am on the map, and you'll get the Ring of Self reflection this one will also give you a toy i'm pretty sure it's this one this will also award you with a toy as well as your bonus reputation and catalog research so again guys just purchase the keys loot the chest and that's it for all the rank two items for the bonus research and reputation now the rank three and four relics don't necessarily require you to actually be rank three and four it definitely helps but it's not a requirement. So more on that in a bit though, let's focus on the rank three relics for now, which will require you or one other person to have a teleporter repair kit. So actually there you go already. You don't necessarily need to have this item. Someone else can do it, but you do need to be rank three to actually purchase the item from the vendor. And this, what this will do, shocking, this will let you repair teleporters, which will lead you to a rare spawn and also one of the items. Now there's two teleporters that you can repair. The first one is going to be the Chamber of Wisdom, and the way this works is that it works like any other rare spawn. If it's up, there will be a star on the map, the teleporter will become clickable. One person with the teleporter repair kit can be you, can be anyone else, just has to click on the teleporter, it'll repair it. You could click on it to be teleported, shocking, to a rare spawn and also a quest item. The one in the Chamber of Wisdom is going to be, I'm going to say this one shot. Zyrax nailed it the unknowable and he will drop the obelisk of dark titans and also in that room is going to be the sack of strange soil so just go into the chamber of wisdom kill the rare spawn loot his item and also in that room just make sure you pick up the quest item for the sack of strange soil the second teleporter is going to be the chamber of knowledge which is south of the chamber of wisdom same thing just wait for it to become active once it is again like any other rare spawn will be a star on the map just use a teleporter repair kit you or someone else can use same thing in there rare spawn will be Yar yark's hav nailed it the pillager for the ever living statuette and also in that room will be the quest item the drum of the death loa just simply go ahead and loot those items and then you can bring them all back to the archivix dude gain your reputation and your catalog research that knocks out all of the rank three relics those ones are super super easy to get and again you don't necessarily need to be rank three to do it you could just enter the teleporters if someone already repaired it and get them that way let's move on to rank four now the rank four relics do require you to have repair rift keys now you would get these from purchasing them from the archivix codex vendor but they do require you to have rank four to purchase for 100 catalog research However, they also have a chance to drop from any Corthia rares and treasures, so you don't necessarily need, just like rank 3, to be rank 4 in order to get these relics. You just need to have a repaired rift key. One will be more than enough to do it. So once you have a repaired rift key, head over to a rift. I'll show you the location on the map where I am of the one I generally use. As long as you have a key, just click on the rift, you'll enter it, and you'll have 15 minutes to loot these four relics before you get booted out of the rift. Now, the first one that I recommend going for is going to be the Cypher of Understanding. Obviously, you can do it in any order you want, it's just the order I did them in. It's going to be the Cypher of Understanding, which is the southwestern area of Corthia, essentially where one of the other items was. Just go ahead, head over, and it's above the cave entrance. Click it, and then you would be able to turn it in. Don't do it yet, though. Go get the other items first. The second rift item is going to be Enigmatic Decrypting Device, which is kind of south, the southern end of Corthia. Again, not on the actual island, though. It's near like a little pillar, destroyed rock pillar thing. Just go ahead, pick it up, and then you'd be able to turn it in. The third rift item is the Unstable Explosive Orb, which spawns basically in the rift, exactly where the dominated protector rare spawn does spawn, but in the rift phase, just go ahead and pick it up. Now, I wanted to save the Book of Binding for last second Book of Binding, by the way. This spawns near where the Croak the Tormented rare spawn does spawn. You would go ahead and pick it up. And this will give you a quest to essentially go ahead and collect a bunch of Azure pages. Now, these pages are actually in the normal realm, so not in the Rift phase. Hence why I just recommend saving this one for last. After this, you would have all the items, right? That way, you could just exit the Rift. Then you would go into the cave that's nearby there. And then you could just collect the pages and complete that quest. That way, you don't have to use another Rift key if you have one to go back in the Rift and get the other items. So I definitely recommend saving that one for last. Once you have all of them, you could just head back to the Archivix dude. Hand in all your quests, enjoy your bonus reputation and currency. Now, the rank 5 relics do actually require you to be rank 5 with the Archivist Codex reputation, because you need to purchase the research report Ancient Shrines, which requires you to be rank 5. Essentially, guys, this will allow you to interact with some shrines around the area, just leading you to the last three relics to find. These relics will, of course, give you 500 reputation. These ones will actually give you 750 of the cataloged research compared to the other amounts of currency 
that you got before. So let's get right into them. After you purchase the research report ancient shrines, you get out over to, again, basically the southwestern end of Corthia. And the first one is going to be the Lang family wood carving. I immediately thought of Ant-Man. Did anyone else think of that? Anyways, essentially once you interact with these shrines, It'll basically just form like a path you could walk on. Just follow the path. Don't fall off like a complete potato like I did a couple times. Because, I, I mean, like, guys, it's such an easy path, too. The fact that I managed to fall off, like, I'm impressed with myself. Anyways, just go ahead, follow the path, and you pick up the item. And then you would go back to turn it in. The second one is going to be the Shadow Slicing Short Sword. This one does give a toy, by the way. Basically, it's on the way upper area of the, uh, kind of to the, of Western Corthia. Just head, head all the way to the top. You can actually climb the chain from the Lang Family Sword that's near that one to get there. Anyways, interact with the shrine, follow the path. Same thing, just pick up the quest and then you can go ahead and turn it in. And the final one, there's only three relics for rank five. The final one is on the Western Island where the Relic Hunter Rare Spawn does spawn. Assuming you've completed the Renown 44 campaign quest to actually unlock the grapple points, right? Just go ahead and use those grapple points to head over to the island. Again, that comes from the Renown 44 uh, campaign quest. Essentially the same quest line that has you unlock flying. Just head over there and at the back, there's going to be the final shrine. Go ahead and click on it as usual. Follow the path get your item and then you could go ahead and turn it in and if you've completed all of these once you turn in the final item you will gain the reliquary restoration achievement which again is required for the overall meta achievement for one of the new hand mounts it's the red one and this will also give you a total of 14,000 bonus reputation allowing you to get to that rank six for the mount or you know your sockets your conduit upgrade items much much quicker and of course along the way giving you a ton of catalog research these are very, very simple items to get, guys, as long as you know where they are. I absolutely recommend doing this if getting to rank six is your goal or even just getting like a Paragon cache. I mean, that's 14,000 reputation. That's one Paragon cache right there for the mounts that would come from that. And that's pretty much it, guys. I do hope this guide helped you out as usual. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. I do my best to answer all of them. Don't always get to all of them, but I do my absolute best. Like the video if it helped you out. Sub to the channel if you like the content. And as always... Halo 3, it's it's not even the best Halo ever, it's the most Halo ever, okay? It's just, it is, like, when you think Halo, you think Halo 3, because it's just the best, guys. It's just, it's just the best. It is what it is. I can't change it. Rules are rules. Like it or not, it just is what it is. All right, guys. Until next time. Bye-bye. Voice crack at the end? Nailed it. Always keep in the voice cracks. Okay. Later, guys.